Let's rewind just a little bit and discuss how rare it is to find a true number one receiver grade in the scouting process. In 2022, Garrett Wilson was the only number one receiver projection I gave. In 2021, Jamar Chase and Devontae Smith were the only number one receiver grades I gave out. And in 2020, CeeDee Lamb was the only grade I gave out as a true number one projection. In 2024 alone, I have not one, not two, but three number one projections from the same class. I have never had that in one year. Marvin Harrison Jr., yes, the son of that Marvin Harrison, 6'3", 209, sub 4'4", speed, a rare combination of traits and skills. Think of the recent wide receivers that have come out of that Ohio State program. Michael Thomas, Terry McLaurin, Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. Only Harrison earned unanimous All-American honors two straight years. The Boletnikoff Award winner is littered around the single season and career record books in Columbus. The tools are next level. He's tall, he's long, he's fast, he's coordinated. The subtlety to his skill set when it comes to route running and ball skills are off the charts. Romu Dunze, 6'3", 212, plays closer to 220 pounds, is the best contested catch receiver I've ever seen. And no, the volume of contested situations have nothing to do with the lack of athletic ability. He ran a 4.4540, a 4.03 short shuttle, and ran a sub 6.9 three cone. Odunze led the country with 1,640 yards, also a single season record at Washington, and he was fourth in the nation in touchdowns. Malik Neighbors, we don't have official measurements on him because of the odd stunt he and Jaden Daniels pulled at the combine, but I'm estimating around six foot 195, give or take an inch, give or take five pounds. He left LSU as the program's all-time leader in catches and yards. So we could give you a scouting report, but the more interesting approach would be to find the best way to compare these guys. They're all number one receivers, but they got there in separate vehicles. They are all going to produce similarly on a macro level, but a deep dive into the details of the avenues they took will bring very different looks to your offense. If you want skillful NFL ready yesterday, closest thing to a sure thing, it's Marvin Harrison Jr. His game breeds consistency. It is the most reliable, it is the safest, but do not mistake that for a low ceiling. Harrison's ceiling is to be a top five wide receiver in the NFL before the end of his rookie contract. Let's take a look at that consistency. 60% of his games since 2022 went over 100 yards. Malik Neighbors went over 100 yards in 44% of those games over the past two years. In 72% of Harrison's games since the start of 2022, he scored a touchdown. Odunze, 48%. Neighbors, 44%. You know what you're getting out of Harrison week in, week out. He's going to be productive. He's going to be reliable. And that is one thing about superstars in the NFL that gets overlooked. It's not just the highlight reels. It's not just the explosive plays. They're going to show up every Sunday. If you want physical domination across the board, a guy that can run by you, a guy that can run through you, a guy that can almost always win a traffic, a guy that is open when he's not open, a guy that will block his butt off for teammates, you go for a Dunze. In 2023 alone, he caught 75% of contested situations. Harrison came in at 43%. Neighbors, 45%. It is worth noting that in 2022, Harrison and Neighbors both trumped over Odunze when it came to contested situations, but there is no secret and there's no denying that as Odunze put more mass on his frame last off season, he became not just a good athlete, he became a dominant athlete. And that's what you want to see out of a true number one. If you want yards after catch and playmaking ability with the ball in their hands, the guy that changes the personality of your offense, the guy with the most dog, the guy with the most tame, dangerous toughness, but without compromising any speed or explosion, you're going to go for neighbors. Neighbors broke 51 tackles over the past two years, and he averaged 6.3 yards after the catch per reception. Harrison, just 14 missed tackles forced and 5.2 yards after the catch on average. Odunze, 25 missed tackles over that span and just averaged just 5.1 yards after the catch per reception. Simply put, you combine Harrison and Odunze's missed tackles forced, they're not even close to Neighbors alone. Neighbors average depth of target was notably less than the other two but his yard production in total is right there with them because of what he can do after the catch. So now that you can see what these guys can do, what are you trying to avoid? Really, you can't go wrong with any of these three guys, but again, you want different flavors in your wide receiver room. And based on what you already have there, you might want to avoid certain traits that all these guys do have. Marvin Harrison is more 
finesse than overwhelming. Does that truly translate to the next level? He doesn't break through contact after the catch, and he does not always get behind corners on vertical routes. Odunze is more raw and has not proven the ability to get as much separation on a consistent basis. He ran a less versatile route tree at Washington, and it's worth noting that he played against much lesser competition. Neighbors has less size and less polish. He will trap the ball in between his hands and his body, and he doesn't always attack the ball with his hands. His routes are not precise. So because he doesn't have some of the size the other guys have, he needs to improve in that area to really get the most out of his upside. So you have reasons for these guys. You have reasons against these guys. And part of it will be based on your offensive situation. If you put a gun to my head, I'm going with the safest of the prospects that still has the ceiling. And that's Harrison Jr. It's rare to see a player with such a high ceiling, but also a floor that is probably a Pro Bowl wide receiver. I don't see in any world, in any situation, minus horrid, quarterback play where Harrison is not making the Pro Bowl year after year with the occasional All-Pro performance. But don't mistake this, guys. This is 1A, 1B, 1C, not 1, 2, 3.